Welcome to the world, Lily, our beautiful baby girl. This is right there in the beginning, before you met our crazy puppy, George. Just getting warm. But what does this have to do with waterfalls? Well, after a couple of sleepless nights in the hospital, we finally got to take you home. A couple days after that, we decided to go for our first hike. And since having a puppy and a baby in the car at the same time was crazy in the beginning, it was vital we found a location close to DC. And from the Lincoln Memorial, Scott's Run and Dead Run are much closer than Great Falls. We'll start with Scott's Run because that was your first hike, Lily. Water levels that day were much higher than usual. Can you jump it? Yeah, there you go. George may not have understood the assignment, but he still passed the test. Meanwhile, Lily was enjoying a nice nature nap as we approached the falls. The path to cross at the bottom was all flooded out, so we decided to climb over the top. Yeah, probably not the best place for a puppy and baby. That was fun. Water level was definitely higher. I'm trying to figure out a way to get across. On previous trips to this place, crossing was as easy as one, two, three, jump! Boom, piece of cake. I even tested the water once, but that was before they put up all the no swimming signs. Well, Lily, we didn't cross the river this time, but next time we definitely will. From here, we jump ahead a couple months for the next waterfall. Whoa, look how much you've grown, Lily. While you finish your avocado breakfast, let's make one thing clear about this next waterfall. It's rated difficulty level two. That means it's a piece of cake, right? Oh boy. You ready for this, George? Bridge crossing action shot. Oh my God, so cool. Lily's doing a great job. Status check on baby Lily. Aww. And Lily has fallen asleep. That's good. Because that's when the trail difficulty went from a two star to a four star real quick. Here's her friend Marissa leading the way. One more step. Oh, nice. Next up, George. Yeah, I'm a beast. Here comes Alex and Lily. That was Mozart. There okay. we go. From there, we continued down the trail until we hit the main waterway. Got it. I don't think that's the waterfall, but... It wasn't. Now we're talking. like as good a spot as any to jump in and it's pretty chilly. Here goes nothing. Continuing downstream, there's a swimming hole about chest deep for anyone to enjoy. Yeah, you can do it! The second part of the trail loop is a beautiful scenic walk down the Potomac River. I like this recommendation. Whoever gave it to me, thank you. Quick lily check. Ah, still asleep. I was trying to find like a brewery or a brew house or something. So we met up with our friends at Solus on the way back. Sean, that's the move. There you go. George, you good? You didn't think it was over, did you? Back to our map. These next falls are so close you could walk there from the Roslyn Metro Station. Oh my gosh, Lily, you've grown so much again. Hi. <gasps> she said hi. Hi. Bonus waterfalls were on the Potomac River Overlook Trail. We hit the water pretty quick this time, and just before you hit the Potomac River, you find this waterfall. This one right here might not always be flowing, but it's awesome. It's a good rain. When you hit the river, either direction will take you to the next waterfall. 
Looks like Lily wants to go right. That'll get you to Windy Run Waterfall. It's worth a climb. And this seemed to be the best way up. A little slide to get back down, and wow, definitely a good spot to check out. Next, though, we go back to the Potomac Overlook Trail and continue upstream from there. That's four waterfalls, actually five. There you go. For more waterfalls, check out these other videos. And for now, here's Uli, George, Alex, and myself waving goodbye. See you next time.